Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome back to Pine. Okay guys, I'm going to show you today how to double your inventory space really fast, but there's certain things you have to do in order, and if you don't do them right, you're going to mess it up. So you have to be careful, and I'm going to show you how, this is going to be a little bit longer than my normal how-to videos, normally they're like three to five minutes, so this is going to be a longer one because it has to be, I don't have a choice, I tried it three times, and I had to start three separate times to do this right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to head on down. To get your, okay, if you look at your inventory space, if you notice you only have 16 slots, right? So what the problem is, is you need five orbs. You're gonna need five orbs. And when you talk to the mammon, which is the big mammoth creature, um, he's gonna help you. And he's gonna say, oh, uh, he's gonna, oh, I love these orbs. And, and if you give me these orbs, I will, I will give you more, I will give you a new pouch and you can carry more things. And he'll double your inventory space if you have five. Now he'll give you more inventory space later on if you have 25, but I but we, we haven't gotten to that point yet. That's a ways down the road. So right now we're just going to show you where to get the five orbs that you need to double your inventory right now. So it's going to take a minute to do, though. I'm going to grab some avian peppers because now we have to become a, a friendly with a, a species uh, on the island, which is that village right directly ahead of me. But we have to go around this corner first to get that first orb. The first orb is right around this corner. And we go and we go past the waterfalls, go into the cave, and it is to the right, right here. Oops, to the right, right here when you go inside. Okay, so that is an amphiscus orb. Now, come out of the cave, go ahead and grab a couple of items here. Like there's this clay right here. I grabbed that because I don't know what animal is going to be in this village. They are random. The factions are random when you first start as far as where, who's living where. So I don't know what faction is going to be here or what they're going to want for their offering. So wait, I think we might have one. Uh, it looks like it's the spitters. Uh, I don't forget what they're called. But okay, so let's go to the uh, donation box here. Now, they are hostile to us right now, but they like spicedal. They like meager yams. They like dull rock and they like carrots. I uh, have. What do I have? I have meager yams. I have dull, one dull rock. Do I have any carrots? I don't think I have any carrots. And all right, but I don't have any spice doll. So, but we do have we do have meager yams. So I guess I'm going to give them. I'm going to try to confirm one. I need to become neutral. Not you don't have to become friendly, just neutral. It says friendly, but it's only neutral. So that was that one. Come on, give me one more. All right, now I'm neutral. I didn't want to give up all my food. So I could have given them a dull rock, but if you look in, the, I mean, from hostile to neutral, it's only a couple of, of, of items you got to give them, but it's a lot of items until you become actually friendly. And the traders won't even, won't even trade with you unless you're friendly. So now, now we're neutral. So we're safe. Uh, you know what? I, I don't think I need that sandstone. Nah, we're good. They did take, you know, three of my food. So. I mean, I could have given that dull rock, but I didn't, you know, it's whatever. All right, so we're going to enter the friendly village. And I'm going to show you right quick. Make sure these guys are friendly. Oh, yeah, they're friendly. All right, so, and let me go ahead. Let's go ahead and take a look in our glossary right quick and go to the animals, the species. They're called a litter is what they're called. They're not spitters, they're litters. So they're hunchback specimens. Uh, they live a simple life. They, uh, they think that, that by spitting on everything, it improves the hygiene of it. So, yeah, their ranged attack is, is, is amazing. So they, they spit balls of goo. So anyway, so I'm going to show you where the second orb is right now. So go up this cliff and go to the right. And then right up on the scaffolding is the second orb. Okay? But to get to the, any, to get to the rest of the orbs, we have to go and do this village uh, quest right quick. So I jump up on this rock. <coughs> And then I jump up on this rock to get to this orb. That's how I do it. All right, so that's your second orb. So we have to do, we have to learn four things about these, this village. So we're going to go to the trader first. Where is he? Right here. All right, here's the trader. You must be the trader. Yuck, I've had my share of strange creatures pass by my shop and none like you. Then again, experience tells me the stranger that looks, the deeper the pockets. 
When they said the human would come by, they didn't prepare me for someone this fragile. Fragile? Well, yes, I don't think there are people on the album here that could not break those arms of yours. Best thing I got for you is some ideas that you could fit in, uh, fit to your size. And I won't trade with, with you unless you were friends, though, because I can't have my goods in the hands of our enemies. So they won't even trade with me unless we're, unless we're friends. All right, that's the first thing we, we're going to do. The second one, we're going to go to this board right here, which shows the enemies and the friends of the faction. So right now, uh, it displays relationship, relationships between the creatures. Red are foes, green is allies, white is neutral. So they are they're they're enemies of two two different factions, the horns and the potions. They're friends with the teeth, and they're oh they're, oh and they're friends with the uh, with the with the sun, and the moon. Okay, so they're friends with two and they're enemies with two, and this changes all the time though. It changes all the time. So I mean we got to keep an eye on the board just to, to know who they're friends with because um, we're going to be enemies. If we're, if we're neutral with them, we'll be neutral with the other ones. We should be. And if we're, fr if we're friends with them, then whoever they're enemies with, we're definitely going to be enemies with, the, with their enemies. So all right, that's the second thing we got to do. And then the third one, we're going to go up to this totem right here and check out the totem. Uh, oh, this is quite the tower. I can see them on the horizon because you see them all over the horizon, right? That's where all the different camps are. Seems to indicate the wealth and population of the village. And on the the flames on the top indicate how big the village is, how many people are there, and how important it is. So, all right, that's the third thing we had to learn. Now they're going to go talk to their leader, which is the fourth thing, which is right here. Well, have I ever? Are my eyes deceiving me? A human in flesh and bone. Forgive me for the express consternation, but it's been decades since anyone saw a human on this island. What do they call you, young one? Uh, my name is Hugh, and I've come from the Unstable Cliffs. My tribe can no longer live here. I've come to find refuge. I donated to your village hoping to get help. Why, I lived, that I live to see this day. I admire your courage, Hugh. But a place to live, that's not in my interest, I'm afraid. I have plenty of mouths to feed, as does everyone on the island. Um, however... Your donation did not go unnoticed, and I thank you for that wholeheartedly. Not everyone will share the peaceful interest that I have for humans. And you look weary and unprepared for what seems to be a burdensome task. I shall have our village trader retrieve an old shield from our stock, one that should fit in your hands. Perhaps explore our village in the meantime, as there should be plenty to learn for a creature like you. The shield should be ready when you are ready to leave. A shield? Well, I hopefully I'll be able to handle it. Why, well, you've gotten this far. I shall also think about what you, what you can do to reach your goal. It is high time someone or something stirs up the daily grind on Albamia. Why? Well, come see me when you've received your shield. Oh, I'm going to go get it right now. Right up this cliff. Woo! All right, so just go. I thought I had to go to the trader to, to get it, but no, you go off to the side here. Here's the shield. Okay, so there. Shields can protect from uh, incoming attacks. Different shields uh, have different exhaustion rates and regeneration speed. So go into the, your inventory, go to the equipment, go to the shield, and equip it. Boom, like that. Now we're ready to go. By the way, if you're neutral with these guys, you can't hurt them. And also, if they're friendly, you can't hurt them. So it doesn't matter. All right, we'll go back and talk to this person. I'm glad you found your shield, young human. Still, you look like a brittle tin flower I could snap in half before breakfast. I asked around a bit and realized there is someone who more, is more capable than us to help you with you gearing up. Oh, who's that? The name is Grob, one of the mammoth. Man mammoth. Nobody has seen them for ages, but apparently he's still alive. Word has it he resides in the pollen pass between the shore cliffs and the sparse fields, Finding him might not be easy, but he has enough experience with human gear to at least give it a shot. I I will try to find him. Thank you. Surely you will. You got this far. Blah. Good luck, human. All right, cool. 
That unlocked the Mammoth Cave, guys. And without talking to these guys and doing this, you can't unlock the Mammoth Cave. You can't get the rest of the orbs. So we're going to head up the hill. Holy crap. Do you think you got enough stuff on your back, dude? All right. We're going to go up the hill. And actually, I went too far that way. I'm going to go up this way around this tree. And the Mammoth Cave should be right here. Follow the torches, pretty much. I say that, and there's more torches that way, though, you know. We got anything here? What's this? Hey, currants. And that's a sulfa dill? Okay. I don't want to carry too much, because I'm going to need to have some space later on. Uh, I only got one slot left. I'm going to have to drop some stuff. All right, this is the Mammoth Cave. Now, just to expedite it for you guys who want to know where all the orbs, the five orbs are right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go show you where they are. This is you have to solve this puzzle to get into the Manath Cave, and and talk to talk to the to the Manath. But I'm going to show you where the orbs are right now. Now, the big key thing you have to understand: do not, I repeat, do not collect all five of these orbs right away. If you do, you're going to lock yourself out of your inventory space, <laughs> at least until you find another one. So we're going to leave one of them behind because otherwise it won't work. So, okay, it's dark already. All right. Well, we're going to go this way. Out of the Mammoth Cave, we're going to hang a left. We'll do this first. We'll hang a left. We're in the sparse fields. We're going to head on down. And directly ahead of us, kind of a little bit to the right here, but on the kind of off the road a little bit, is going to be one of the, one of the, the third orb. Well, I mean, another orb. See it right there? It's dead ahead of me. And I'm going to take this wheat, though. Because I, I gave him the, those other guys my food. Right, so here we go. There's, there, there's orb number three. Oh, and mind you, if you, if you collect something... Uh oh Oh, hey, there's the mooses. That's cool. Well, they're not... We're not friendly with them yet, so... We're going to stay away from this dude, because otherwise he's going to try to attack me. Just give him a wide berth. Oh, God. I think he saw me. You after me? I think he's just trucking. I don't think he's after me. All right, we're going to dip back into where the Mammoth Cave is. I don't, feel like, I don't feel like fighting this dude right now. All right, he's just going to pass on. I'm going to let him pass on by. This is where the math kid was. I'm gonna let him pass on by, and then we're gonna keep, and we're gonna come up behind him. Actually, I need to eat. I I need some energy. There we go. Hey, chickens. Uh oh, all right, they're they're fighting these guys. These guys are fighting. Oh, it looks like they're running. Looks like that guy's running. Checking time. Oh, it was good. We got feathers and eggs, man. All right. So anyway, getting back to what I was doing, coming out of the out of the mammoth cave, hang a right for the fourth one. Go dead ahead. Leaker thighs, huh? All right, and then I'm getting sidetracked. Where you see these fields, hang a left and go up the hill, but be aware this is a village, so be careful because you're not friendly with this person yet. And so jump up, grab the orb, and then get the heck out of Dodge. Go, 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 go. Gotta go, gotta go. Because, oh, yeah, he, he saw me. He, he's mad at me. I don't know how far they chase you, but it should. Uh oh, we got no, we got trouble. Oh, the birds and the and the crocs are fighting, man. Now I'm gonna drop something real quick because I think we might have a, an opportunity here. 
Uh, I'll drop that. And what else do I not care about? I guess that'll do. Somebody's going to die here and they're going to drop all their stuff. I got a feeling it's that bird. I think that's a, it's a collector. If it's a collector, we might be able to get some good resources. All right, so now, see that, this bird, this, uh, this croc is not interested in anything that that bird had on him. But I'll take it all. See, uh, I don't care about the bone. I'll take the feather, because I already have feathers. Uh, I don't know what that was. Apple leather. Marrow hay I have on me, too. Trader token, we'll take that. Oh, wait, can I not take the trader token? All right, I'm going to drop that, that doll. Okay, we take that trader token. I think they're important. Stuff cloth, I'll take. Uh, Marwood, I'll take. Gobble do essence. Okay, I can't take that. All right, that's good. I don't know about, you know, that gobble do essence that might be important too. Let's go ahead and drop these stones. We'll take that gobble do essence. There we go. All right. Yeah, man, you just step back and chill out for a minute. You can, uh, you can, you can get loot from uh, warring factions, you know? All right, so the fifth and final orb that you're looking for, guys, as you come out of the Mammoth Cave, which is right there, go up this. You're going to go to the tower, the watchtower. He's going to send you to the watchtower anyway, so don't take this orb, all right? It doesn't matter which one of the orbs you don't take, but you don't want to take this orb. Hang on, I, I'm going to get this graphite. This graphite's to make keys. We're going to need it, so I'm going to grab it. And... So you can go this way, and you go across this bridge. And the Mammoth Cave, like I said, is right there. Drop down. And this is the watchtower where, where you're going to find the fifth orb. It's right there. Don't take the fifth orb. I mean, it doesn't matter. You cannot take the one down there or the one over here. I mean, you can gather as many or as few as you want. But now you know where all five of the beginning orbs are to duplicate your, I mean, to double your inventory. The whole point is, don't take the fifth orb because you need it for the mana to, uh, to he's going to say, go to the watchtower and then you're going to find it. And then, and then the game is going to say, oh, go show it to him. If you have all five, it won't tell you that because you haven't met the mana yet. So it's... I don't, I, I don't know if that's on purpose or not. It, maybe it's a, an oversight from the developers, but you'll have to find an additional orb before you can, even though you have five on you, you're not going to be able to get your inventory doubled until you, uh, un, until you find a sixth one, if you get all five right now. So anyway, let's get, okay, now to get into here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pick up this, this torch, which takes that and swings that over there, and then we're going to go ahead and drop it. Didn't matter where you put it. Pick this up, which opens, or which 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 uh, lowers the rope, which causes that to catch, and then we just put that down, then grab this torch again, put it back in its original slot. That opens the door. Now you're good to go. Now this is gonna fall. Okay, that fell. And that's broken now, so but this will stay open. It should be for good. All right, and this is the Mammoth Cave. But anyway, guys, that was the, those are the five orbs that you're. That's where you find your first five orbs. So if you want to continue and uh and see how to get the rest of your gear and how to how to uh, get all the stuff out of that watchtower i'll show you that here in just a second um hello a human in my cavern oh happy days it's been ages you must be grob sure am you have no idea how long i haven't had any company and from a human nonetheless you never leave this cavern? Nah, the outside world is not for me anymore. Everyone's occupied with their own problems. There's a total lack of community. Apart from you humans, I could only bear my sister's presence, and she's not been seen for a long time. There are more of you? Oh, there used to be plenty of us, but we were treated as the islanders grew more hungry for power every day. Anyway, you came for some business, I hope. 
I was told to come and find you for some protective gear or some tools. Ouch, I haven't done those in a long time. I gave my last human creations to someone just like you, but that was ages ago. He was a friend. I believe he used to hide in an abandoned watchtower nearby. I created gear, tools, but also chests to hide belongings in. In return, he brought me these shiny orbs. I love them. You should go to his hideout, and maybe you'll find some human belongings there still. And before I forget, all my chests came with a tiny key. You need key graphite to make them. I'll write it down for you. Okay, I'll, I'll try to find it. Thanks for stopping by, human. Please play me a visit sometimes. And there's the key graphite I was talking about earlier. You're going to need that, so. All right, so guys, we're going to go to the watchtower real quick. You have to do this in, in, in a certain order. If you don't, you're gonna, it'll, it, it messes the game up and it delays your progress. So this is the fastest way you absolutely can do this. At least as far as I know. Maybe there's a shorter way, but I tried different variations and it didn't work. So, I mean, it was like it locked me. It blocked me. So, oh, and here in a second, I'll show you how to get on top of that, too. And get all that good, all those goodies. <laughs> All right, so here we are once again. And we're going to go back up. Investigate the abandoned watchtower. And we're cut this way. Now when we snatch this orb, it should unlock the... It should unlock the ability to go back and talk to him about the... Uh, the orbs if i grab this there it's one of those shiny orbs i should bring it to grab all right so that's a second quest uh a quest line here so we're just going to go back right now and we're going to we're going to talk to grab about it so we're just going to drop right in here we're going to go right back and he's going to double our inventory all right it's a lot of running around, but really, it's a, it's the shortest distance that you can you can travel to, to get this done. I think I'm pretty sure. But if you grab all five, that will not pop up because you won't have an orb to find. All right, grab. I found one of those orbs. Oh, they shine brightly as ever. What are they? Uh, what are they actually? <laughs> They are pieces of an ancient history, they say, placed by a species long forgotten, even more forgotten than us Mammothar. Manathar. Now, I am a mere collector. Oh, so exciting. Let's make a deal, tiny human. If you find me more of these, I will craft a larger pouch for you so that you can carry even more of these. Sounds good, actually. I'll start right away. Now... I found all five. It says bring grab some amphibious orbs. So now I can come back right now. Boom. Beautiful. Right when I was done with your new pouch. He's got fast fingers, guys. Just so you know. Great. And the next one will be quite something, tiny human. I will exchange it for 25 orbs. I'll have to do some searching, but based on this pouch, it should be worth it. All right, guys. There you go. There we go. Double inventory. Gosh dang, it takes a minute to do, but there you go. That's the fastest I, I figured out how to do it. Now we can go back to that watchtower, and we can go ahead and get the rest of that gear. All right, so let's go ahead and head on out of the cave right quick, and we're going to get the rest of this gear super fast. Now that we have double inventory, it won't be such a hassle. All right, we're going to go ahead and let's going to jump out. Now I'm going to show you how to get up here. This is busted. Now there's supposed to be... There's a couple of ways you can get up here if you if you're if you're tenacious enough. All right, so there's supposed to be something some way of uh, I don't know how to activate this stuff. This is a, a an other otherworldly technology, but I'm gonna go ahead and take off my shield. I'm gonna equip my shield. I don't know if that makes that much of a difference, but it might. And I don't know if I can actually get up here 
Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. If you jump on this, you should be able to jump right, if you face right there against, in between this pillar and this rock, you should be able to jump up. Oh, nope. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Because I've had a hard time with it sometimes. Sometimes. There it is. Oh, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. I almost had it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, got it, got it. Woo! All right, there's another way you can get up, too, and I'll show you in a second. Beagle light. I don't know what it is, but let's interact with this. There's a note in front of you. My many turns have seemed to have led, led me here. This is the Poland Pass, a small dark place amid uh, some beautiful fields. Such beautiful minds I have learned. I would not have missed out on this experience if I had not left. For those bright enough to look beyond that what they know, I have left something behind. Assuming the reader has a compass, I have found a way to guide you to some possessions of my own. I have hidden a few ornaments of sorts they, uh, that were energized to point in a certain direction. The first of such accessories can be found below a trunk in the narrowest parts of the soggy woodlands. With that, adventurous reader, blessed wanderer, I hope you unearth my le legacy. All right, so we got a... Uh, uh, find the first ornament below a trunk in the nearest parts of the soggy woodlands. All right, we're going to jump across this. All right, cool. And then bust these boxes. It's always random what you get except for that ex explosive tripwire there. There we go. I got explosive tripwire. God dang it, man. Get out of the corner. Leaf dough and stiff rope. All right, cool. Now, I was also able to get up this way. I don't know how I did it, but I jumped right here on this corner of this of this uh, this broken piece of machinery, and somehow I made managed to shimmy my way up. Guy, I don't know if I can do it again. It might have been sheer luck, but I, and I I was able to shimmy my way up to uh, on top of that rock, so I was able to just like just like I think it was just pure luck. All right, anyway, try that on this side, guys, if you can't get it on that side. But, yeah, I was able to get all that gear, so all that information, so that was cool. All right, let's go get the rest of that gear. All right, so back to the watchtower we go. Now I can afford to grab more stuff. You know, I was leaving stuff behind before. I don't want to, you know, you don't want to leave anything behind. Oh, you know what? I'll put that shield back on, I think, maybe. For some reason, that shield uh, was blocking me when I was trying to jump. So, there's some clipping issues. <laughs> okay, so we gotta collect all the gear. And to do that, guys, you gotta stand right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna equip. Actually, no. Did you hit X? And. Use a slingshot. Now there's this 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 elevator is going to go to the middle, and then it's going to go to the top, and it's going to go back all the way back down to the bottom. So you got to be ready. I'm going to go all the way to the top first. Just middle, top, and then I'm going this way. There we go. Now it's going to go back all the way back down. All right. So this is the. Oh, it looks like an advanced slingshot of sorts. Seems like I'll need to craft some other things. Uh, 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 some things other than pebbles to fire it though yeah it's a it's a, a short there's an arrow blueprint wedgewood bow uh, all creatures on the islands have weak spots hitting those uh, will result in a powerful critical hit and arrows grab the arrows all right cool and then i'm just going to jump down and we're going to grab we have the Wedgewood Tunic idea, the Wedgewood Wrist Guards, the Wedgewood Pants idea, the Wedgewood Leg Guards, and then over here we have Soft Glass, a Power Brew uh, idea, and Interact. This mo must, must be written by that human. Day 166. Today I met up with some leaders of the Vault Villages. I have been charting the shortest routes that have that connect those ancient places for months now. The vaults are very important for the bright future ahead. I have also found out that crafting a power brew gets you inside any village, 
chiefs really loved them. Alts, what are those? Sounds like there might be some answers here. Maybe they could provide a place to live? I should visit those. This human marked them on the map. And there we should have it. Okay, okay, there's three places marked on my map on the top right hand side of the screen, guys. So, all right, so we have almost everything. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and, and equip all my stuff. So now I have the Wedgwood Leg Guards, we will equip those. We have the Wedgwood Wrist Guards, we will equip those. And the bow. Actually, I don't wanna equip that. We wanna keep the slingshot equipped for right now because I'm gonna need that in a second. I don't know about that gatherer's wrist rope. I might be able to use that as a um, as a tradable, maybe. But the the wrist guard is only has uh, one star. But the, uh, the I mean the the wrist rope, yeah, the wrist rope has one star. But the wrist guards have two stars, so it's better armor, not by much, but a little. All right, so we're gonna get on this guy here, and there is a uh, there is a slot. I mean, there is a uh, a place you could fire your slingshot up there, but I think it's to bring this over to you if you're stuck over there. Is what I think because you can't you can't use your slingshot. You can't you can only raise your head up so high. So you kind of have to leave it at like that angle. So but there's a you just hit this thing right here. Get ready to get off this thing whenever it, whenever it stops moving. There you go. All right, cool. And off it goes, goes back to its place. All right, albumer key required. Now I don't have one made, but I do have enough uh, graphite that I can make a key. So crafting, albumer key, takes eight to make a key. So we're gonna open this up. And what do we have inside? A Wedgwood sword idea. Better sword guys, better sword. I have to make it though. So let's see. Uh, oh shoot, I have what it takes. All right, hang on. I've been collecting a lot of stuff. So I have the grand cones. I have the stiff rope. I have the marwood. I have <clears throat> I have the gravel moss. Do I want a better sword? It's got two stars instead of my sword, which has one star. Or do I want a uh, Wedgwood tunic? Wedgwood pants? Power brew. I don't have what it takes to make power brew. Um, oh, I can make soft glass? I didn't know I could do that. That's cool. Arrows, though. I need dull rock, though. All right, we'll make a better sword. Let's go ahead and make a sword right quick. All right, now we have it. Now we're going to go with equipment. That's a Wedgwood, Wedgwood sword, and we will equip that. That's the better sword. Now we could probably trade out this old Pinewood sword. And like I said, the old, this, this, like the old wrist ropes and things like that. But we have plenty of room in our equipment slots, so we can... You know, we can we can hang out. I don't know if it'll let me or not, if I can just drop it or whatever. I don't know. But, all right, guys. But now where I think we're geared up, it says, um, okay, so find an, the, the ornament, bring, grab a bunch of uh, orbs, and locate one of the vault villages. I don't think we're going to be finding 25 orbs by next video. I just don't. But... Hopefully those five orbs helped you out. Hopefully this information uh, was cool for you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, guys, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, well, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.